All right, welcome back to another Sonic Academy tech tip. In this tech tip, I'm gonna be showing you um, a cool little trick to do um, with your side chaining. Um, I generally use, um, uh, what is it, uh, LFO tool. Let me pull that up here real quick. And it's uh, made by uh, Cypher or Zephyr, I'm not sure. It's uh, it's a cool little plugin, um, and it's got some nice sidechain settings. But uh, if you don't want to spend the money on this tool and you want to just use the uh, stock plugins, I'll show you a cool little trick that you can do um, uh, that I learned uh, fairly recently. So first thing I'm going to do is bring in a um, operator here, and instead of getting a kick drum or like a, a deep tone, I'm actually just going to use a um, a um, a noise hit like this uh, and the first thing I want to do is just um, like a normal do a number four on, <clears throat> a normal four on the floor uh, drum pattern and that'll be our our signal All right so this should sound pretty annoying right here if we just hit play on this Okay, so as you can hear, it's just a uh, noise pattern. It's a, it's a hit rather than um, a, uh, a bass drum uh, kick, which I know most people do because um, that's how most people are taught to do a side chain. But you don't really need to do a kick drum to do a side chain. You can actually use uh, really any noise if you want because it's just a signal that's coming through. And then the next thing I'm going to do is put a, a gate on this. Uh, and that's going to help me control uh, the tail um, if I want to. Uh, decrease the uh, amount of tail that comes through so I'll show you that so I can make it shorter uh, if I need to okay so uh, let's turn uh, this channel so that it sends only so that way we're not hearing the um, uh, the noise anymore we're just getting the signal you can see over here just getting a signal and let's go over to our base and add a compressor and set this up for side chain. Let's go ahead and we'll name this side chain. And over here on our base, I'm gonna turn side chain on, get the audio coming from our side chain. There it is right there. Let's go ahead and move this up. Okay, so now, um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the ratio all the way up. And I'd like to look at it in this view here. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's have a listen. And just to show you, uh, you know, I'm gonna just kind of be a little overly dramatic with the uh, the threshold here, so we can see that the signal's coming in and working. Turn the attack down a little bit. And the reason why I like doing this with the uh, the noise is because uh, with a kick you do get that initial uh, you know big boom, and yes, it does move um, it ducks the compressor out of the way, but I find that sometimes it's too much. So the th the the thing I like about this is that it moves the first you know hit of the um, the bass out of the way to allow the kick drum to come through, but it's not over overly dramatic, and I think it still allows plenty of room for the bass to uh, shine through after the initial, uh, you know, first transient of the kick is um, is pushed through. And then we can also go back to that uh, gate now and control. So now I'm getting a really quick. Uh, hit here on the compressor and then just letting the uh, rest of the bass line shine through. And there you have it. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.